Hey guys, Meet Rebels, Chris Tomer here with this Friday evening mountain weather update. I want to go to radar because here's our storm system slowly moving up the eastern plains of Colorado. This was a panhandle hook storm. It came out of that panhandle area around uh, Texas, Oklahoma, and uh, northeast New Mexico and southeast Colorado. And it's just moving like snail's pace up the eastern plains. And really all day we've been kind of waiting for the east-northeast wind to kick in across Denver. We really haven't seen that much of accumulation in Denver proper. But tonight that'll be different. And certainly tomorrow morning we'll have some snow left over. You can see the low coming up. And as that, uh, that low approaches, it starts to turn the wind more out of the east-northeast for Denver in the front range. And that should help accumulation down here. Um, and that will also help to push the snow up the uh, up the slope, up the elevation of the uh, the front range foothills and towards the continental divide, towards Loveland, towards a basin, Eldora, Winter Park, Keystone, and it'll spill over into Summit County tonight and into tomorrow morning. Look at the deep blues down in southern Colorado. I-25 closed down into New Mexico and southern Colorado. You can't get down there. You can't get north or south. Uh, just incredibly heavy snow down there. All right, so that's the current situation. And this also shows you that, once again, the best accumulation is going to be on the divide in east with less accumulation west. There's just not much, not as much making it over. Um, here is Eldora, speaking of the front range high peaks. And so this is up in the, the Indian peaks. Here goes a ski patroller. Um, the clouds <laughs> definitely have some, some clouds socking in the mountain. There is some snow, um, but it will continue. The snow will actually pick up in intensity tonight, and then it will continue into tomorrow morning. So we have additional accumulation um, I had for a lot of Eldora, Winter Park, Keystone, Arapahoe Basin, and Loveland overnight and tomorrow morning. All right, here's the setup, and let me just redraw this. So um, this is the latest water vapor satellite imagery. There, again, is our area of low pressure moving up the eastern plains very, very slowly, eastern plains of Colorado. So your moisture loft is in the whites and the blues. Oranges and reds are going to be your drier air. Now there's another storm system back here, and that's uh, sending some energy out ahead of it. And that cold front will race through the Intermountain, 1111 and 1112, still looking to be on the weaker side, unfortunately. And then that secondary storm will eventually load up and move in. And that one does seem to have a little bit more kick to it. But all right, here are my latest uh, dates, my latest uh, snowfall timeline for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, New Mexico, and Tahoe. For the Wasatch, light to moderate accumulations, 11-12, light on 11-16. So nothing huge on the horizon at this point for the Wasatch. Tetons, you can see that, Colorado tonight and to tomorrow. Again, maybe light on 11-12, light on 11-17. Um, New Mexico, and you can see the forecast there for Tahoe. All right, let me show you what the forecast radar and satellite looks like so that's our current scenario 530 snow up and down colorado northern new mexico now by the time we get into let me start this animation here we go so by the time we get into saturday afternoon um let me take it back one more time so we can really see this there's saturday morning at 5 a.m um, the low is still there, and you can see the wraparound effect. Some of those bands of snow are going to curl down through the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Um, the snow starts to break up in Denver and across the eastern plains, and then the whole thing moves away by Saturday afternoon. Sunny skies on Sunday and also Monday behind that storm. Now, here comes that cold front. This is 11, 12 in the morning. Snow through a lot of Idaho, Montana, uh, headed for the Tetons, headed for the Wasatch, but this thing is moving very fast and it's on the weaker side, and it's it's already through. By the time we get to uh, Tuesday, 11, 12, at 5, 15 p.m., the snow has moved out a lot of those areas. It's moving into Colorado. There's another storm, though, headed into the Pacific Northwest, um, and there it is, and that's where the emphasis is going to be. This is 11, 13 in the afternoon, and then that's going to roll through the Sierra eventually. There it is. So another area of low pressure moves in. This is 11, 15 in the morning. This one's a little further south. And then that one takes a southern track. Look at it, heads towards the four corners by 1116 and 1117 into 1118. So now that's the way things look on the uh, the extended horizon. All right, my latest uh, snow forecast. So the rest of tonight through tomorrow, all the additional accumulations in Colorado and northern New Mexico. In fact, most of it is up around Denver, the Front Range, the foothills, up on the Continental Divide. And some of that does spill over into Summit County and, of course, parts of northern Colorado. But looking at probably five, six, seven, eight inches, uh, potentially, uh, the rest of tonight into tomorrow morning. And some of those deeper blue shaded areas. Um, let me take you into the second time period. So 1110 through 1117, this accounts for the cold front, storm in the Pacific Northwest, another storm coming down through California. Um, so you can see where the accumulation is, anywhere in pink 
purple is a foot or more. Um, some light accumulations through Colorado, uh, moderate to heavy across the Sierra. Uh, it's from two different events. But up in the Pacific Northwest, looking at some good numbers, just like this morning's update, could see one, two, three feet of snow, depending on location up there. Um, four to eight across a lot of Idaho and northwest Montana, maybe a little bit heavier up around Schweitzer. But uh, still, I, I only have light to moderate numbers for the Wasatch. It's just that that cold front on 11-12 is it's just moving so fast and it's so weak at this point. So we'll keep an eye on it. But all right, guys, there you go. That's the uh, the afternoon evening update here on Friday. Take care and have a great night.